Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode of the Cougar Cast here on the Kokomo Post Sports. My name is Drew Larison. This is a new weekly show we're going to be doing with IUK Athletics. There are so many amazing things happening at IUK right now when it comes to all of their different, different athletic programs, and we wanted to sit down with them weekly, hear about all that's going on, as well as learn about some of the athletes, learn a bit more about them, what they think of Kokomo, and things like that. So joining me today, we're not sure if you'll be here every week. We'll figure that out. Is the athletic director at IUK, Tom Norris. Tom, how are you? I'm doing well. I appreciate you having us. Really looking forward to yeah. uh, to this weekly podcast and just letting our listeners know kind of what's going on in IUK athletics. Which there's so much going on. And like your role in this show is going to be, you're going to be always up front and tell us just overall what is happening, which it's a really busy time at IUK right now. You've got women's soccer killing it. We've got some cross country action going on, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, women's basketball, men's basketball, so much stuff going on. So give us just a quick, you know, like 40,000 view. What's going on right now? Some of the big things happen in IUK. Sure. Yeah. Like you said, there's a ton going on right yeah. now. We, we've got, we're in that crossover season that we, you know, what we call, we've got basketballs going, we've got our fall sports concluding. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's a super busy time for us, but a really exciting time because we've got a ton of student athletes participating, competing, a lot of them um, on the national level, but, but basketballs are, you know, four five, six games in. So yeah. ton of exciting stuff going on, had a ton of success here in the fall um, and, and look forward to talking about that. Oh, volleyball too, which volleyball is been one of the most successful programs at IUK, right? I think they have two banners in the gym already. They do, yeah. yeah. So this um, th this was probably the one of the most challenging seasons that they've had. But um, we went out to Pittsburgh this past weekend and won the conference tournament, won three matches in two in two days. Love that. Um, which earned us our eighth straight trip to the NAIA national tournament. So uh, they are scheduled to fly out Thursday to Omaha, Nebraska. We'll take on College of St. Mary in the opening round. Um, if, if they're able to pull out a win there, then they'll go to the final site, which is in Sioux City, Iowa, uh, where Love the final that. 16 volleyball teams go. So IUK is representing Kokomo all over mm -hmm. right now. We're going to get to it a minute with the cross country runners, but they're going to Tallahassee, Florida. Yep. We got people in, I, I mean, we're all over right now. Cougars are all over the country. All over the country. Like I said, volleyball going to Omaha. Um, women's soccer will leave this afternoon and head down to Williamsburg, Kentucky to, to compete in the NIA national championship opening round. Um, fourth season for them and, and and the amount of success they've had is is really really fun to watch it's and, crazy um they went out on uh saturday after we spent six hours shoveling snow off the field at kokomo Municipal, i saw that yeah um and, and beat ryle grand seven to one to earn that bid so really excited for that program um and, and look forward to see what they can do here in the postseason yeah and so so much going on we actually went uh, a few weeks back to the men's basketball home opener and i'll be honest like i'm a kokomo kid IUK is in no way the IUK that I grew up in. The atmosphere blew my mind. There were probably like 250, 300 kids in that student section. You guys saw it in the opening clip and they were going nuts. Tell me what it's like for you to see this type of growth at IUK in the athletic program and just campus life in general, because IUK in the past has definitely been a smaller school where you kind of go there and go home and come back for another class and things like that. That's not IUK anymore. And IUK is offering some of the best athletics in all of Kokomo and people can come and watch. What's that yeah, been like for you? It, it's been fantastic. I mean, this is only year 11 for IU Kokomo athletics as a whole. And the amount of success that they've, you know, that we, we've had in that 11 years is really, really impressive. But like you said, it, people in Kokomo, you know, my wife is, is a Kokomo person, mm -hmm. you know, and, and she had never stepped foot on IU Kokomo's campus yeah. until I got the job here. So just being able to um, give our community a, a college team to latch on to, um, it, it's a high school sports town, that's no oh, secret, but it's just a sports town in sports general. Town in Kokomo general. people, they love their athletics and love their sports. Yeah. I mean, look at Kokomo High School this weekend, maybe fighting to go to a state championship, yeah. and it will be like 12 degrees on Friday night, and those stands <laughs> will be packed. I mean, like, yeah. people in Kokomo love sports. Yeah, and, and, and like you said, the, the campus has gone from what people know as a commuter campus yeah. to, you know, our average age is, is more traditional college-age student now, and, and I think that's due largely in part to what athletics has been yeah, doing. Yeah, and just and campus life. Campus life has been, I mean, like you said, two to 300 kids, you know, it's we have about 250 total student athletes, so it's pretty natural for mm. athletes to support athletes. And yeah. um, we have had some of those student athletes who have, have kind of spearheaded that student section um, and, and grown it to what it is now. And it's just been fun to watch. That's cool. It, it's fun to see everybody support each other. And it's fun to give our, our campus community something to take pride in. Absolutely. No, it's it blew my mind. Uh, Brady and I were there and like 
I walked in, I'm like, what am I, what is happening right now? It was so cool to see. All right. So another thing I want to talk about every week on this show, so we're going to start doing this with every local school, including all the high schools and IUK. We're going to have an, an athlete of the week from Northwestern, Western, Taylor, Eastern, uh, forgetting one, oh, Kokomo, Kokomo schools, and then also IUK. So this is the first IUK athlete of the mm -hmm. week. I got the sent this yesterday and dear me, it's earned. Um, this is Keely. Hoopengarner? Hoopengarner. Love that name. That's great. Um, she's on the women's soccer team, and this is what IUK had to say. Keeley had the program's first ever hat trick in the 5-1 to one RSC semifinal win over IU East on Wednesday and would score another hat trick on Saturday in a 7 win over University of Rio Grande. Yep, I've Rio been saying Grande. Rio Grande. I'm very happy you corrected yep. me on that because that would have been embarrassing. Even though I just confessed it, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's fine. Um, over R Rio Grande to win the RSC championship and earn a berth in the NIA NAIA national championship. Keeley was also named the RSC player of the year and offensive player of the year mm -hmm. last week. Crazy awards for her. Crazy Congratulations. Yeah, Tell us more about Keeley. It, it's, I mean, she has been uh, a boss. A boss. Yeah, Two very, hat tricks and a conference start. That's nuts. Yeah, very, very special player to watch this year. Um, I think she's finished you know the season up until now with 25 goals which crazy. is crazy i mean blew the the school record out of yeah. the water i mean as a team we, we probably broke every school record but um she was a player that if we needed a goal we would She'll just send it provide. long she outruns yeah. everybody and, and she's just a really really special player to watch so uh well deserved honor for her and uh i'm not sure many people know this but i, I do think there's a chance that she comes back next year um, and uses her COVID year. So hopefully oh, nice. we get to see that, that special player for another year. And that's a, that's a thing too. I mean, you see this in football and basketball when there's that one player who's just so dominant, the other team obviously knows that before mm -hmm. they play them. Right. However, the, what makes like a good to a great athlete is that even if that team knows Keely is one of the most insane offensive players, they still can't stop her. Correct. And, She's and that's still performing. Yeah, that's what know? we dealt with all year. I mean, that she was in everybody's scouting report, oh, yeah. but she still comes out and scores 25 goals in, you know, whatever, 17, 18 matches, which is unheard of and, yeah. and really impressive and puts her in maybe the top three to five in the country in terms of goals scored. That's crazy. So congrat congratulate Keeley, the first ever Kokomo Post Sports IUK Athlete of the Week. Um, we're gonna be doing that every week. There'll be a new athlete from IUK as well as all the local high schools that we're covering as well. So I guess Tom, before we get into the interview segment um, with the two athletes today, tell everybody listening, really tell them why they should be coming out to an IUK game Absolutely. and like what to expect. Yeah. So, uh, j just a little plug, our, our men's basketball team is at home tonight at seven 30 against IU East. One of our uh, river States conference rivals should be a really fun game to watch, but, um, a couple different reasons, you know, we've got a really, really good group of 250 student athletes. We've got a lot of local student athletes. I mean, I think our men's basketball yeah. roster is primarily Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have to go too far to recruit. So, um, one, it's affordable fun. Uh, I mean, yeah. we, we're not a very expensive uh, IU Bloomington type of ticket. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. But I, I just think the atmosphere and, and seeing some of those local players still having success at this level um, is it, fun to see. And it's um, uh, again, it's a, it's a family affordable uh, and most of our teams put on a really good show, mm -hmm. and a really good product. So, you know, men's basketball tonight at 730, women's basketball home opener on Thursday at 530. So many chances to see our student athletes, but um, just a fun, normally winning experience yeah. that, that they get to come and be a part of. So, um, you know, we look forward to having big crowds and, and putting on a good show. People of Kokomo, you guys know you love being a fan of sports teams. You love like following sports teams. There are so many more to follow now at IUK, and we hope this show will help show you guys that all the great things going on at IUK. Um, and I just I challenge you, like go to a game. And I promise it'll blow you away because there is that stigma of IUK where it's, you know, it's still that commuter yep. school and like people yep. that aren't in it, they don't realize really what kind of campus life is happening. Absolutely. I challenge you go give it a shot, go to a basketball game, uh, soccer. I mean, all the different sports that are going on, go check it out. And I promise you'll be blown away. Awesome. Well, thanks for the, you being on the show today. We're going to break real quick. We're going to get um, the two athletes that we're going to be interviewing today on the show. But thanks, Tom, I appreciate uh, it. for being on this opening show. And I hope this show is a great thing for Kokomo. Fantastic. Thanks for having us. Absolutely.
All right, welcome back to the show. Uh, we have two IUK athletes with us today, and you know, normally maybe we'll just do one interview, but these two are pretty special because they did something last week that is kind of a big deal. So I have Luis Saldana and Casey Peppercorn uh, with me today, and you're both on the cross country team, and you both have qualified for nationals. And actually, right after this recording, I learned, you're flying down to Tallahassee. You are flying, correct? Yeah. I was going to say, come on, UK. You're not going to like driving yeah. down there. You are flying down to Tallahassee, Florida to compete in nationals. How crazy is that? Um, so thanks for being here today. Luis, you're originally from Fort Wayne, correct? Correct. And you are a Kokomo native, Northwestern grad. <laughs> Go Tigers. It's also where I went to high school. Um, yeah, so you've qualified for the NAIA Cross Country Championships in Tallahassee. Um, just tell me real quick, Luis, you can go first. What's your experience been like at IUK? Um, how are you liking it? Um, I love it. It's a really small campus. You know, you can get around really quick, you know, if when you're like well you're also really fast oh so yeah, maybe but faster than normal for other people but then um it's since it's a very small campus you know you can get around quickly you know you don't have to like worry about maybe walking like 10 minutes when it only takes like almost less than five minutes to get across campus and it's really nice i like the staff i like the students you know and just being there it's just it's, just, it, it's comfortable yeah so same question for you. I mean, obviously, you're a Kokomo kid, so it's a little different experience, but like, what has your, been ex uh, your experience at IUK been like so far? It's been really good. Um, like Luis said, it's small, but it's growing, in, Darn um, right, yeah. especially in athletics. Everything is just getting better, so the small class sizes specifically is one of the reasons that I like going there, because all the professors want to build a relationship with you. They mm. want to help you. They want to uh, prepare you for your career, so it's really good. So what's it like being a student athlete? I mean, obviously you guys both ran cross, cross country in high school, but college is a different level. So what's that been like, you know, learning how to be a full-time college student and an athlete? Has it been hard? Has it been, you know, easy? What's the school making it like? Um, it's pretty easy because most of the times um, your advisors will work around your schedules when, come, when it comes to practice. You know, if you have like 6 a.m. practice, oh, well, okay, we can work around that. Or if you have like in the afternoon, like 5 p.m. practices, they'll work around that. And then, you know, they just, they're very like, what's it called? Like, like they can manage your time yeah. perfectly. So it's like you have time, even if like for most student athletes, how they work, uh, I do know a few who work, um, they can still get around that, get good grades. And, you know, it's just, they, they can manage your time perfectly. And yeah. that's the great thing. What about you? I think it definitely takes time, but managing your time is the most important thing because there's a lot of people working jobs at doing their sport multiple practices a day still still going to school full time so it's it takes time but it, there's all the athletes are in the same boat so yeah we'll help each i mean out. you're learning to adult mm -hmm. right it's a part of adulting right yeah. um all right so i want to tell everybody your times um that you guys got to qualify for nationals because it frankly it blew my mind i've also learned a lot about cross country um so Luis, the men's team they run an 8k which is like right under four, five miles it's like 4.97 i did the math right uh 4.97 miles you ran let's just say five no one's going to sue me, right? But the five miles, you ran that in 27 minutes and 28 seconds. Yep. That's insane. And you play sixth uh, in that event to, to qualify for nationals. So in that moment, were you happy with that time? Were you like, I qualified this a big deal? Or what was that like? Well, I was, I was happy, but I wasn't satisfied with my time. What an athlete's but, answer. Um, I was very excited to know that I was able to secure the last spot to go to nationals. And... You know, knowing that all the hard work that you've put in through the season and even in through the summer, it just, it pays off at the end. Yeah, for sure. And then Casey, you, so the, uh, the women's team, you were on a 5K and you did a 5K in 19 minutes and 55 seconds. Um, you placed fourth to qualify for nationals. So tell me what that was like, you feeling that I did it. I'm going to nationals. How cool was that? It felt so good. I've, all four years I've tried to go and I've missed it by one spot multiple times. So it felt so satisfying just crossing the line and having the whole team there at the finish line and my family there and they're all crying and yeah. they were so happy for me. So it definitely felt really good. That's really cool. So obviously you're running in Florida. It's a little different of a climate than what Kokomo is right now. What's training been like for that or mindset of that? Because it's definitely gonna be warmer and more humid and that changes when you're running. What have you done to maybe counteract that or keep that in mind? Well, 
first of all, I've been training more like inside where it's like warmer instead of outside since it's more cooler. So I was, I've just been running inside in the treadmills and just trying to like get Do you hate to, treadmills? Do you, uh, would you rather run in, outside? I would rather run outside yeah. in a treadmill. Yeah. It kind of gets boring. Treadmills, they're, they're kind of better these days because some of them have that like screen where it makes you feel like you're running outside or something like that. Yeah. But nothing's like the real thing. No. Yeah. So you've been running inside a lot more? Yes, a lot inside and just get my body used to the warmth and just making sure that I'm prepared. Even if it's humid, you know, we're, we're still going to try and go out there and do our best. Love that. Even, even through like in the beginning of the season, it's, um, it's also been like warm, humid. Mm -hmm. and so it's like we kind of know what to expect. Sure. It may not be as humid as it is here in Indiana, but I, I think we're prepared for it. Love that. What about you? Um, I've been also running inside, but um, one of the things mentally is just to enjoy it because my last cross country race ever. So mm. definitely like cherish the time that I'm going to be racing. So love that. It's a good mindset. All right. So I don't know a ton about cross country. Like I said, I know you run and that's about it. Um, but I'm curious. And we were talking about this before. What's it like while you're running? Is it like, is it, is there trash talk? Is there like, you know, chaos or is it pretty chill out there running in the, like the, literally the country? What's it like? like do, do some people like get, you know, mean on the race? Um, I do know for experience, I don't know how it is for like the women's race, but I do know a lot for the men's race, how there is a lot of trash talking. I there is that. pushing and shoving, you know. There's pushing? Pushing and shoving. Some people do fall. They Are there penalties in cross country? I don't think there is. But so it's fair. It's just chaos out there. Yeah, it's just chaos, straight chaos. <laughs> if you fall that's and you get trampled, that's... That's, it's game over, but oh my God. Um, usually that's just how it is. There's a lot of trash talk, but it's normal. What is like a common trash talk? Like, hey, slow poke. <laughs> um, <laughs> or is, it, it gets more aggressive. It, it than gets that. more aggressive. Yeah, wow. they end up pushing and shoving each other, and it just goes I'm on. away. It. it can even end up for like a whole mile, just p two people arguing or shoving, and yeah, it's, it's which takes energy, by the way. So like if you're trash talking and like you're mentally focused on like somebody else that takes energy. So it's do you trash talk? Have you ever? I don't trash talk. I do my uh, I let my good legs man. do the do the talk, do the legs, do the talking. Your coach <laughs> loved that one. That's good. What about on the women's side? Does it get a little catty out there? I don't think it gets as aggressive. There's a lot of elbowing mainly at the start, but that's just because they're it's tight. It comes in I get that, really yeah. sharp. So. Um, definitely some elbowing, but uh, the main thing that I hear uh, when I'm racing is a lot of other teams are like encouraging their teammates that are with them. So not okay. any trash talk, just encouragement. <laughs> that's less. That's less entertaining. <laughs> but that's fine. That's cool. No, I was so curious because like the photos you see, it's just people running, you know, and it's it's different than it's not on a track because it's longer. Um, so I was curious what it's like out there. You're just running out there and like, but there's trash talk. That's um, that's amazing to me. Man, we should mic one of you up for a race one day. <laughs> That'd be funny just to hear what everything's what everybody's saying. That'd be really funny. All right. So the last thing I want to tell you, what would you say to someone who is a local Kokomoan? Just made that word up. Maybe that'll work. A Kokomoan who's never experienced like an athletic event for IUK. You know, they they still fit into that mind of like, oh, IUK is a commuter school, as Tom said, or something like that. What would you tell them to encourage them to like really start supporting IUK athletics? Um, it can be fun, you know, it can be also interesting as, you know, like, as I said, you know, when it like comes to like other games, like just knowing that your um, other teammates are like doing really well in like the sports and stuff. I mean, it can just, it can be fun, yeah. very exciting and stuff. So this is your fourth year, right? Mm -hmm. How much has that changed in the four years you've been here? Just the campus life and like the support of athletics? Yeah, well, specifically cross country and track team, like it's grown like immensely since I've was starting as a freshman like it's insane how many events we've added to the track and mm -hmm. it that just proves that IUK is just getting bigger and bigger and it's really great to see in the community I grew up in so. yeah so what would you say to someone to encourage them to check it out if they haven't yet I would definitely encourage someone to check it out especially because um, like me I'm from Kokomo so I mean you're just supporting all these athletes that grew up here but also like people commuting like they need people to support them as they're playing their game or whatever. So everyone needs support. 
That's absolutely. What a great ending message. <laughs> Everyone needs support. Anyway, so thanks for watching this first ever episode of the Cougar Cast here on the Kokomo Post Sports. Uh, thank you both. Good luck. Have a safe flight. Uh, make us proud down there in Tallahassee. Um, you've already made us proud. I mean, what you guys have accomplished this year is so great for yourselves personally as well for the school. And you guys are going to have a legacy at IUK moving forward, whether you know that or not. So congratulations to both. Good luck um, on Friday. So anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the Cougar Cast. Leave a comment below if you've been to an IUK athletic event. Uh, maybe leave a comment where what sports you want us to be covering more at IUK. There's so many great things happening on that campus. Campus and we want to just highlight that and inform you guys of what all is going on over there as much as possible. Thanks for watching. We do this every week now on Tuesdays. We'll see you next time, Kokomo.